Rosie Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. As you can see, we have made our way to the Mesa Goza city. It is huge, sprawling, and vibrant, and hopefully we'll be able to meet some of our classmates today because we're heading to school. So before we do any of that, let's actually check to see what the map tells us, because um, it should tell us to head up this way and meet at the school gates. Have a look around Mesa Goza before meeting Nimona in front of the school. So this is our chance to explore more of this area. Um, I'll focus on my decks. It's his battle for me. So I guess there's people running around talking. Welcome. This is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldea. Well, I'm happy to be here. You can see some Pokemon just sort of flying around. Uh, you splash and wash them good. Make sure to wash your Pokemon. <laughs> All right, I will. So I guess you know, there's just sort of people chatting between each other and sometimes we can go up to talk to them. There's some shops I definitely want to check out. Star-shaped sunglasses? Hey there, buddy. Uh, I meant to talk to your, your trainer, but nice to meet you too. Yeah. Are star-shaped shades popular at the school? I saw a group of students all wearing them. Huh, interesting, guess we'll have to check it out. So can we go into stores like this? Yes, we can. Welcome to Sea Breeze Cafe, a space to relax away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. That's cool. So you have things like, you know, different food options here, like spicy potatoes. The Scavillion sauce goes perfectly with the crispy fried potatoes. So with all these things, it looks like we get different raid power and item drop power things. I don't exactly know how a lot of that works, so I'm thinking the game's gonna explain it to us later on. I know we saw that a little bit with the ice cream shop before, so we'll just have to look around and see what's going on with all that. For right now, though, Hey, there's like a little Pokemon battling area over here. Nobody's battling quite yet, but maybe we can challenge some people? Hello. I mean, I can talk to your Pokemon, but it doesn't seem like you're too chatty. Once I catch one, once I catch my own Pokemon, I'm gonna become a champion ranked trainer. I believe in you. Good luck with everything. What do we got over here? I'd love to see a battle. I could use a thrill. Well, I'm sure we'll be battling people soon, so we're not gonna worry about it at this exact moment, but soon enough. So let's get up this way and see if there's any shops. Oh, there's a sandwich shop up here. We fed our... Our legendary Pokemon that I keep forgetting the name of a sandwich, so I guess maybe that's sort of like an active thing here. New sandwiches. If I put the fillings in like so, and then do the condiments like this. Oh, hello, Sar. Sorry, I was really thinking hard about something just now. I researched sandwich recipes, you see. My dream is to one day discover amazing recipes worthy of being called master level. I can teach you recipes too, if you like. If, if I think up new recipes, I'll be sure to teach them to you. That would be great. So, what about you? Every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Welcome to Every Which Way. <laughs> I like it, funny name. So as you can see, same thing here, we got like Humungo Power, Psychic, there's just different meal powers. Maybe we'll just buy one for now, like the jam sandwich, a sandwich made with only jam and slices of strawberries. The simplicity of this dish is what makes it so appetizing. It has meal powers like catching power, fighting, item drop power, psychic, and egg power. Like I said, I don't know what those mean, but I'll, I'll purchase this just so maybe we can get an experience of figuring it out later. Maybe the game will just tell us? Or do we eat it now? Jam sandwich. Uh, okay, that sort of scared me. Uh, we are sort of eating it. Wow. It looks like it was delicious. Jam sandwich. We got a bunch of extra stats there. So is that like a permanent upgrade? Thank you for your patronage. Please come this way anytime you itch. <laughs> nice. Um, Pikachu, for me, what's your favorite Pokemon of all? Uh, so everybody's just sort of chowing into their sandwiches. That's good. Uh, is there anything to do around here? Doesn't it just make you want to take a photo? Totally. Uh, you making any progress in your Pokedex? Slowly but surely. So usually a lot of the little blurbs over their head aren't things that we need to read to understand anything more about the game. It's more just to show that characters are keeping conversation, so I might not read them all from here on out. Uh, but if there are other shops, I do want to see. This is Seabreeze Cafe. Didn't we just go with, there's two Seabreeze Cafes? They're all over the place, quite a popular chain. Can I go into random buildings like this though? I don't think so. It's only the dedicated stores that we can really check out. Like, what is this one? I think this might be some kind of clothing store. Welcome, welcome. It's not. Seafood Fresco is happy to serve you. Ooh, so once again, more extra power stuff here. So that's very cool. I will leave it for later once I'm, a, I'm able to make a more uh, well-informed decision with our money. I'll do that for sure. Let's see what's going on inside of this. Is this gonna be more food? Burrados. Oh, that is so cute. The Levin Delato looking like Pokemon or Pikachu. Uh, that's so adorable. I love that a lot. So we'll keep looking around. Um, 
at the Pokemon Center. That nice lady at the Pokemon Center always gives me little tips when my Pokemon get healed. Is it just me? You think she likes me? I mean, she's been giving me tips too, so I think, you know, that's probably part of her occupation. Um, hello and welcome to the Go For Broke Grill. And even if we don't buy anything, it's good just to, ooh, that looks tasty. Just to check things out, just to get an idea of what, what's available, what we can do. I definitely wanna buy some clothes though. That's gonna be more bread, so I guess like another sandwich shop. All right, I'm gonna skip the food for now. I wanna see, what are those? Are those candies? Or what, what am I looking at here? Uh, welcome to Sure Cans. Our candy attitude is sure to leave you smiling. Um, I'd like to buy, I guess? We have banana, ooh, interesting. Very sweet ingredient, this go-to fruit is sweet and rich, and it's loved by many Pokemon. So I guess we can use these to make our own sandwich recipes and stuff. Interesting. So that one's a bit different, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't think there's any shops beyond those sides. I do see the, uh, the Pokemon Center over here, but I'll run up the steps this way. Just trying to make the most out of our exploration in Mesa Goza. Let's see what kind of cool stores we can assemble across. We have some people talking around this way. Hello. Uh, should we do a bit of shopping? Let's grab a snack. I want to find clothing. That's my big thing. Ooh, you have a, a floatzel. You don't have anything to say about it, though. So what is this building, then? This lo looks interesting. Maybe furniture? I can't go inside. Was that not the right door? Huh. All right, well, there must be another way in, then. This is odd so far, another sandwich shop. So it seems like there are similar shops sort of spread about just so that if you missed one, you don't have to travel too far to find another. This sort of the city really is big though. I can't go into a lot of these. Maybe they'll open up later. Maybe they're not supposed to be investigated into. I'm not quite sure. So now I'm way up here and it looks like there's at least some kind of gift shop up here, right? I can't go into these either. Okay, that's a coffee shop. So of course I can go into the Seabreeze Cafe. I don't want this one though. So, I guess we'll just leave it for later. Um, I, I would love to find some clothes shop to customize our character, but just not something we need to worry about for now. But oh, looks like we have some fellow students over this way. They have motorcycle helmets. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Oh no, these are grunts. This person doesn't seem too into it. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with the awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members. Just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. I love their backpack. Uh, let's help her out. Hi. Uh huh. You want in on this too? Ooh, are we about to battle them? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We we've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burned so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? Uh, no. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody. Here, I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but the battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Well, we'll see about this. I guess we're just battling right here in the middle of the city. Whoa, oh, that's cool. You are challenged by Team Star Grunt. They're sending out Shrewdle. I love Shrewdle, that's cute. Oh, we have Sprigatito here. I don't know if we should have healed our Pokemon up. Now we're, we're feeling good, we're nice and full. We have a four level lead on them and I don't really know what type Shrewdle is, so I'm just gonna try a Dark Bite and see what happens. Not too bad. Um, they're gonna use Scratch in return, but that really doesn't do too much to us. So we can just bite again. Finish you off, no problem. The opposing Shrewdle fainted. It is so adorable, though. And that was it. That's all this uh, Team Star Grunt had was just one little Shrewdle. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Yikes, well, we got 400 in prize money there. That's always pretty cool. Ugh. Why is it nobody like you so good at battling anyway? I'm so not right. No way, he beats you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero Bueno, what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's Nimona. Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Zebra. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Uh, it was those Team Star Punks. That's not really what happened. Wait, 
they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Ooh, here we go. You obtained the Terra Orb. You put the Terra Orb in your bag's key items pocket. The Terra Orb, an orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it is charged with the energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. That is so interesting. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Sprigatito will be a uh, grass type. Isn't it already? Normally you've gotta take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in a battle than if I just explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You wanna battle me instead? Mm, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. And take your places and battle. Huh. So, what does it mean to turn my Pokemon into grass type? It's already a grass type. Either way, we're going against another Team Star Grunt. This one apparently a little bit higher up the rank, so it has a young goose. Yes, for Gatito. Terrasilizing. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrasilizing. You can terrasilize your Pokemon by selecting the terrasilize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrasilizes, its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. After terrasilizing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrasilize a Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to seize victory in battles. Huh. There's a lot of interesting facts about this, but here we go. For right now, I guess we just want to battle. We can try the terrasilize right here, um, and then it'll be a terrasilize Leaf Age. This is so odd. Um, but let's give it a go. If anything, it's, it's sort of comparable to the, you know, Dynamaxing or Gigantamaxing in Sword and Shield, but its own thing. Whoa! Look, it's Brigatito! So shiny! I love it! Wow! Sprigatito used Leaf Age. Here we go. Whoa, and it's a one-hit takedown. See, that is great. The young goose has fainted. That is marvelous. And we defeated the Team Star Grunt. Your Pokemon burns so bright. We got our Pokedex upgraded, a bunch of money in our pocket. That's great as well. Nice, Zebra. You pulled off terrestrializing no problem. Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team now. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Me too, hasta la vista! That's what it was, okay. So, yeah. Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So, yeah, see you around. No problem, glad I could help, whoever you were. Aw, look at you, Zebra, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though, love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. It really is, isn't it? All right, well, I guess we get some good exercise around here. Let's get to climbing, oh my goodness. All right, so we have 468 in prize money, and we gotta go to school. So if we take a look at that one really quickly, right up here, climb the stairs and arrive at your new school at last. That is awesome. Lots of other students are walking around. 
but we are rushing all the way to the top. Look at the view we get up from up here. That is amazing, we can see the whole world. All right then, so we finally made it. We're here at the Uva School. And I guess we're just gonna you know, run by everybody because I wanna just go through those big doors and check out our first class, our first day at school. It should be great, right? I sure hope so. Ooh, okay, so it's a big library right at the center. Here we are, Zebra. Welcome to Uva Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. That makes sense, I mean, for convenience sake. Master Zebra, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? Uh, it was fun, but it was also tough. We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any laughs from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends. Right, Zebra? Of course. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in, in town, Director. We did? Where? It was down the, the stairs from the gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Zebra flexed on him and ran off and ran him off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Master Zebra, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do you remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles? Uh, right, yes sir, Director. A child with a Navy backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do you report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Zebra. Come on, I'll show you the way. All right, well, here we go. We're going to our first class here. So I wonder how involved this whole school thing is with this game. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, ooh, me, I wanna hear the news. I don't know why everybody else is moving so choppily. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Everybody's whispering about it. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. I guess that's us. Hi, everyone. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Uh, sure, I'm Zebra. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Zebra. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Oh no, good little stage fright up here. Mimi, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Battling, collecting, playing with them, or everything? I think my favorite is, I guess, collecting them. I feel like, you know, earning up a Pokedex is always super exciting. Really? Awesome, I'm totally the same. Does anybody else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. Oh no, it's Nimona. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Zebra. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Uh, I guess I just want to be a strong trainer. You will be, oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Zebra. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach bio biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. All right, you ragamuffins, be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Shock. All right, well, I'm glad everybody seems super kind so far. Now we can get into the academy campus by exploring a bit on our own. Don't we have schoolwork to do? I guess not. A biology class is available to take, a math class is available to take, and a battle class, so you can actually go to classes. This is interesting. What, you wanna to talk to me? 
When class is in session, we tend to be on our best behavior, but our best is still, it still isn't that good. Thanks for answering my question earlier. Welcome to the academy. So yeah, oh, Nimona's not here anymore, I don't think. Looking for Nimona? Looking for Nimona? She got called to the staff room just now. Huh, so yeah, how do we actually participate in the class then? I guess it wouldn't be here, but if we walk out of here and look around, you can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now, choose a location and start exploring. This is so neat. So as you can see in the cafeteria, so that's the person we battled last episode and gave us Maridon. They're in the cafeteria. The kind ladies working in the cafeteria make delicious, nutritious fare every day. And then in the staff room, we have Nimona, a room for the faculty. You're likely to run into the various teachers there. So let's start with the cafeteria and see if we can catch up with them. Cause I don't remember their name anyways, so. Might as well sort of learn more about this situation. Whoa, look at this. Everybody's eating. Should I get seconds? Yeah, I think I should. Oh, it looks pretty good. So sort of buffet style. Meal powers. I'm gonna have a good meal and get some meal powers. Maybe that'll help my grades. I'm ready for seconds. I haven't even had first, I, and I already won seconds. Oh my gosh. So yeah, let's talk to you over here. Hello. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Uh Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Get a mind like a seal trap, huh? No need to tell me your name. Zebra, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I guess that was us. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You have gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Watch this stream first. <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. Those herbs seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. Huh, but this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Because, see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. Whoa. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Oh my gosh. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of its treads of iron. Huh. That does seem interesting. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either and I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to, this, to that student council. But here you are, up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Sure, we'll give it a try. Sounds interesting enough. I would definitely like to get involved. Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just stretch it to the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. Okay. Whoa, all over the place. We have the Frost Dragon Titan, the Quaking Earth Titan, the Open Sky Titan, the Lurking Seal Titan, and the Stony Cliff Titan. The Titan's layers have been added to your map app. Path of Legends. Whoa, so is this like a brand new quest we have going on? I guess so. Let's it, let it stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. 
little gift for listening at all. You attained a bag of stardust. You put the bag of stardust in your bag's treasure's pocket. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to shops. Nice, so I guess we can sell that to make some money. Give the idea some serious thought, please. So I guess we could tackle some Titan Pokemon to find some very rare herbs. That definitely sounds like a, quite the journey. In far off regions, higher than other regions, people like to eat rice covered in the in this stuff called curry. Have you ever heard of, had curry before? I mean, in previous adventures, yes. Oh, a Rotom phone. What could this be? This is Zebra, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk to you about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Zebra. You know about Team Star, right? Of course, we just battled them earlier. Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure. No need to reply that right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. All right, so Cassiopeia hacking her phone. Oh, and we're just seeing everybody right now. It's Mr. Colval. Ah, Master Zebra. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Uh, I'll be more careful. Sorry about that. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young man. Huh. But there's a bit of an alluding there that maybe he heard some of that. Team Star, you say? Huh, so maybe Mr. Colvell is gonna get into this drama too. Guess we'll have to wait and see, but for right now, there's still more of the school to look around in. Um. How do I get to those things though? Do I just walk up the stairs or what? I don't really know how this works exactly. So let's just start walking around manually then. Can I just go into these things? Where do you want to go? Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see. The staff room, a room for the faculty. You're likely to run into the various teachers here, but also Nimona is there. So I want to catch up with her for sure. I love the music so far in this game. It's so great. Oh wow, there are lots of people in here. So most of them are probably teachers. There's Nimona talking to somebody with a whole bunch of hair. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. So who is that? Oh, Zebra, hey. Uh, she looked awesome. Could I? She sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. Or Primera? She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool, practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I wanna be, or that any Pokemon trainer would wanna be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank, like me. Uh, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on the eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. That's so interesting. 
I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Oh, the treasure hunt is the special independence study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not so long after the beginning of the school year. It's great! You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want! I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was a treasure I found? Maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. All right then, that sounds good. So, wow, okay, there's all of the gym tra trainers. I'll have to look more into this later, but the Pokemon gym locations have been added to your Pokemon app. Very exciting. Victory Road. This is so cool. So I guess we're free to sort of tackle it however we like. Give it, to, give it some thought. So we have a lot of things we gotta give some thought, but what's so cool is Nimona is a very accomplished trainer. Typically our sort of rivals that accompany us are sort of learning as we go, just like we are. Calling Master Zebra to the director's office, please. Oh no. Once again, Master Zebra to the director's office, please. Jeez, we got a lot going on today. Everybody wants our attention. Well, I guess we'll head off to do that in just a moment, but if I can, I would like to at least talk to some people around here. So colorful. A lot of the teachers here are real colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Some of them I can't really talk to, but Reifert, taking time out of the, your, your day to attempt to converse with me? You must be absolutely mad. You seem pretty nice to me. Uh, ah, so that problem. I don't get how to solve this this one here. So they're just talking about like a question or something. I don't. I, okay, so can I talk to you? Hello. Whoa, thanks for coming by to say bonjour. Of course. Uh, we just have some students. Uh, now where was my next class? We're gonna put that test together soon. So like teachers and students, I guess, are here. Hello, Zebra. Feel free to come ask me questions anytime. Uh, can I ask you a question now? I guess not. So that's pretty cool. We'll head out of here and I guess Go to wherever we're needed. The director's office, which is where Mr. Clavel is. Do Director Clavel's office. His desk and research equipment can be found here. Cool. So we're sort of getting to know quite a lot of the school so far. All right, here we are. Hi, Mr. Clavel. Thank you for coming, Master Zebra. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Uva Academy? Yeah, it's been great, even though it hasn't been very long. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. What could that be? I don't really see anybody around. Ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh, on the big TV. It's pretty fitting. Oh, so who's this? Hello, Zebra, it is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry a Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Whoa. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Zebra, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maraidon, is that correct? Yep, I just got it earlier. Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, uh, not that I, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask you for your assistance. With what? Whoa. Oh, oh, good to see that you, that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Oh, so the professor here knows Maraidon? 
Rhydon was once my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assumed you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? Of course. I do appreciate your agreement. Maridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. Will do. People always say that, but the phone really gets out itself. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep our tabs on your status. Until then. Okay, then that was very interesting to meet them. Did this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Tarot, don't tell me you actually did it. What is that supposed to mean? That's cryptic. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maridon. Of course. So there we go, we got the catch up with, um, of course, Director uh, Clavel, and also got to meet Professor Turo. Area Zero, hmm. What are you doing down there, Professor? I guess we'll have to see at some point. Can I like check out things around here? I don't think there's really much for me to see, so uh, a lot of research stuff around here, though. Hello, excuse me. Oh, it's Nimona. Oh, you're still here, Zebra. Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Not kidding, I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Zebra. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're going to our dorm room. Dorm room. <laughs> your dorm room. A nice space of your own away, or your own away from home. Gotcha. All right, well, here we are. Ta-da-da-chan! I don't know if I said that right, but from today on, this is your room, Zebra. Actually, it's a new, as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Huh. Maybe check out your new bed? Looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow. When you're rested up, then we can battle even more. Take care. Sounds like a plan. All right then, so with that done, look at our comfy spot here. I love the colors, the green cabinets, they look nice. Is there anything we can really do here? It's your own personal kitchen. Oh, can we cook here, I wonder? Maybe not quite yet, but hopefully at some point. So it seems like it's time for a good rest. Is this a closet over this way then? This leads to the bathroom, make sure to keep it nice and clean. And not too much personalized in here, but maybe we can sort of add our own touches later on. It's your study desk. It's got plenty of handy space to put things to the side too. Awesome, what about our wardrobe? Can't do much with that. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll up in the bed. Ready to call it a day? You'll need to rest if you wanna be prepared for your new school life. Sounds good. Whoa, so I guess time is passing. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Really? Huh, so a couple of days have passed at least, maybe even a whole school year? I'm not really sure. Ding dong, ding dong. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will explain in more detail. Okay, so I thought somebody was ringing on the door, I guess not. Oh, it's Nimona again. Hi. It's time! What's going on? I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. All right, well, I'm right behind you. 
So something is going on here. I think they might have mentioned something before. We gotta go to the schoolyard, director's orders. Where do you wanna go? The schoolyard. A courtyard sometimes used for battle studies class. It's a calming place suited to exercising or relaxing. I guess the director is already there waiting for us. Okay. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. Ooh. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture, discover the Pokemon that live here, and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together, learn new things together, share each other's thoughts and feelings, and find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study when you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! All right, this sounds amazing. It's like a giant field trip, but even better. So I guess we're setting off for this now. I was not expecting some kind of like time skip in a way. This is so interesting. What is this Pokemon right in front of us? Tomiya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclozar, we're riding out. Cyclozar, whoa. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. Uh-oh, so I guess we won't go there. What are you waiting for, Zebra? Let's go! I mean, there's so many places to go. Where could we start? I'm not sure. It feels like just everything is up to our choice, and that is so exciting, but also a little bit overwhelming. Hmm, you think everyone heard my warning? With the students so full of vim and vigor, I find it hard not to worry. I guess that makes sense, but it also seems like something you should have mentioned in the, you know, with the announcement. We can do anything? When you're told you can do anything at all, it sort of makes it harder to know where to start. That's how I feel right now. So maybe we'll talk to a couple people. I know what I'm searching for. To me, treasure hunting means catching Pokemon. I'm going to fill my Pokedex for sure. All right then, so. Yeah, Nimona's waiting for us out that way. We're gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna take my Pokemon picnicking in all the best spots around the region. That sounds amazing. Okay, so, there's not anybody. Oh, wait, 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 there's one more person. There are all sorts. There are lots of different Pokemon, or different people and Pokemon at the school. And you're part of the variety. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, let's talk to Nimona real quick right over here. Zebra, Zebra! The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. Huh. A lot of the other students seem to be quite familiar with this already. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Uva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You can try to beat Pokemon gyms, you can help out people in need, you can hunt for real capital T treasure if you want it even. There's stuff we've never learned sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me sh for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. I hope so. I mean, you seem pretty accomplished if you already got all the gym leaders beaten. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know that your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. How's that for, for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Harvin? 
Insider advantage, sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's at the Zebra whether he goes. Zebra's gonna have his hands full searching out the Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after that champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. And Serio? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along and still have the Zebra whether he goes, right? Ugh. Oh, we got Rotom calling us. Hmm? Zebra, your phone's ringing. Could this be the person from before? It is Cassiopeia. Hey, Zebra, Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. All right, so on the map app here, as you can see, we have these five different bases that we'll have to go through. The Team Star bases have been added to your map app. Starfall Street. So another quest is sort of starting here. Oh, and it's beginning to rain. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Zebra's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Zebra to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona? And Arvin? I guess so. How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Zebra. Bye. What was that all about? Zebra, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Ooh, okay, so they look like this. Nice little tower, usually has a big symbol on it, looks like a Pokeball. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what, to, what you do, Zebra. Go wherever you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my, er, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Ah, oh, that sounds great. And ooh, maybe Maridon wants some? Ugh, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> well, you're not getting one. Aw. It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Zebra? I think it might just be. How to ride. Press the plus button to jump onto Maridon. You'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on Maridon's back, you can press the B button to have a jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button again to get off Maridon and walk. That is so cool. See how top onto the back and get going. Wow, this is so cool. All right, you ready? Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cycles are. Long as you've got Merit Maridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Zebra is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go to the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Zebra. All right then, so the choice really seems to be ours in the treasure hunt. The treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you wanna go and as you search for a treasure all your own. 
but the thing I feel like I fully treasure about Pokemon games like these is experiencing as much as possible. So if it's possible, I would like to go ahead and experience all those, taking on all the gyms, going against all the Titan Pokemon to find those herbs, and of course, saving the Academy from the Star Crew, whatever their name was. Go ahead and take them down too. I wanna do it all. So hopefully that's something we can do throughout this series. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.